And who is so strong that he can make himself qualified for heaven and come up into paradise and say, God, here you have a real good man. Here you have someone who always made his best. I treated my wife in a kind way. I gave to the poor. I fasted regularly. I fasted from the sun break until the sun came down and I didn't eat secretly. I didn't drink secretly. Who can say? Because I have been living in various parts of the world. I know myself and I know people. No one of us is qualified. We need the grace of God. But you see, God is not the only one on the scene. There is a devil. And the devil is described in the Bible as the prosecutor. And the devil has a tremendous power. You can see how much evil the devil is causing in the world. God wants peace, but the devil wants destruction. God wants happiness in your life, but there is conflict and maybe depressing situations caused by the devil. But you see, Jesus, he could represent mankind because he created us. And he could die on the cross and he took all our guilt upon himself and he died. But here's a problem. I know Mr. Didat, he thinks, oh, these Christians, how can they believe that God died? What kind of God is that who died? Well, I think as Muslims, you don't understand what it is to die. Excuse me. Now I'm provoking. Well, you see, when Jesus died, do you know what he did? When Jesus died, it was like entering the gates of the kingdom of death. Now, when Jesus wanted to save mankind, he wanted to show love. He died because he paid the penalty of death. But the problem was still there. The devil was there as the, the king of, of death. And, and the gates of hell, they were under control of the demons. So Jesus had to die not just as a suffering, not to be defeated. Jesus died in order to enter the gates of hell and go straight up to the devil. I'm not going to look at you now. <laughs> and conquer the prosecutor and take the power out of the hands of the devil and open up for eternal life. To all those who believe in Jesus Christ. And they are saved from hell and rescued for heaven. That's the message about Jesus.